Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ocala RV Show. Today we are taking a look at toy haulers. Now I know I said we would be doing travel trailers today and toy haulers tomorrow, but it's super windy right now and so the travel trailers will take way too long. So I figure we'll just do toy haulers. We only have like seven or eight. We're gonna take a look at the travel trailer toy haulers then the fifth wheel ones. Come on, Will. All right. First one here is the Rove Sir 24. Very nice. And this is one all um, all aluminum. All aluminum, right? You got to show that. Oh, yep. Sale price thirty nine 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 nine. Floor plan right there. So no slides in here. And again, everything in here is aluminum. These cabinets are countertops. I mean, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Well, this one's way. pretty simple. What's really nice, you still have this back patio even though it's a toy hauler you have a ton i mean this is truthfully made for your toys with a place to sleep now the one dislike about this when we did the video i don't know if it's out yet was this bathroom set up yeah. a wet bath it's pretty tight but again this is for the person who just needs a place to sleep and they primarily want to take their toys exactly and with the tall ceilings and a travel trailer toy hauler you're able to bring some of your taller toys for sure cool down here we have the Forest River Salem Platinum FSX. Nice little outside kitchen. Yep, this one's a little bit of a better price. Okay. Um, 27 RTKX, 33.9. Nice. Let's take a look at it. Cool. All right, we'll start up front with this one. Again, this one's gonna be a little more RV-like. Yes. With a garage. Yes. So bed up front, more traditional sectioned off bathroom. And then still a really, really good sized garage back here. It really is. And you know what's funny? Like the ceiling isn't as tall, but I do like this one a little bit better. For sure. And it's cheaper. We got yeah. a nice kitchen, ever chill refrigerator, plenty of countertops, a fireplace right here. And again, nice ramp door patio. You can see that the ramp door is a little shorter. That for, one was yeah. more elongated. Yeah. Probably for the higher ceilings. Okay. Really, really nice. All right, and then next up here, we have an Ibex 19QTH. Ah, I love that. 34.9, we got the uh, Wrangler tires. Nice Wrangler tires. Now this has independent suspension, but it's not the Kurt independent suspension, right? It's not, I can't see from here to be honest. See, I don't see. I cannot I tell. Stuff anywhere. Yeah. But again, really nice discount here. Okay. Again, all these toy haulers are going to have very similar characteristics, uh, open concept. This is yep. so you can get your toys in here. And if you're not liking this, then maybe a toy hauler travel trailer isn't for you. The fifth wheel travel trailers are, or the um, fifth wheel toy haulers have a lot more sectioned off space. Yeah. And it's a lot different of a unit. What I do love are these windows all around the bed. Yes. Really nice, especially that front windshield. Take a peek at this bathroom. Not a bad size shower for how small this trailer is. Yes, sir. Coming on back here. Very nice, a nice ramp door. Yep. All right. And then we're gonna put over this way, Sir William. Okay. We're gonna take a look at this carbon. And then see, look, this is the big voice right here. It is. <clears throat> All right. This is a travel trailer, toy hauler, look at this. This one's built more like a fifth wheel bath sure. and a half. Wow. 649. Yeah, again, this is going to be kind of a, you know, almost like a full profile travel trailer. Right. For what that is. For what that is. Yeah, really nice bed up front. Nice bathroom here, accessible in the hallway or from the um, master bedroom. Nice, really good sized kitchen in here, honestly. Yes. You got your slide in the kitchen and everything. Huge uh, couch. And then still a very, very good sized garage. Nice big patio. And as you can see, it's got the screen that comes down. Oh, yeah. This and even though. Both beds. Right. Even though it's a travel trailer. Right. And then let me get this half bath right here. Well, if we would have started the video in here, you would have thought we were in the fifth wheel. Yeah, you would have. You know what I'm saying? Also, guys, we are here at the Ocala RV Show. If you guys are seeing these awesome prices and you want to take advantage of it, come to the Ocala RV Show. It's March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. We will not be here Sunday the 5th, 
but come on down. We have special exclusive Matt's Cash. And if you can't make it to the show, call the number you see on the screen, click the link down below, get get your Matt's Cash. We're honoring the show prices nationwide. Right. I know we sold one in Utah today, one in Michigan today, or maybe it was Illinois today. But um, reach out to our team because even though it's not, no, it wasn't either of those. It was um, Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. So they were down here, but they're picking it up out of our Virginia store. Whatever works best for you, just reach out to our team. We got you covered. That's right. All right, Will. <clears throat> and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch it up. Okay. We are going to do the Lippert advertisement at the end of the video uh, with a big announcement of announcing Lippert's um, RV owner school. Cool. But I want to see how that video, how it performs at the end. Okay. Make sure you guys stick around for that. And Will, make sure you remind me to remind you to remind them to stick around till the end. Okay, so I'll try. Now we have another carbon. This one, 84.9. Okay. Really nice looking area. Yeah, for sure. I need to get the blinds up. I know. Get nice the... Thomas Payne theater seating. Wow, the beautiful reclines. kitchen. I love how they did incorporate a dinette in this one because some people do want that. Yes. Yeah, like you said, great kitchen. Love the refrigerator. And then in the back, double entry. You got double theater or double uh, sleeping area. And then, of course, that patio in the back. Washer dryer prepped. Well, when have you ever seen an RV show when you're driving past donkeys on the way? Right. That is so funny. <laughs> All right, check out that master bedroom. Okay. All right, nice bathroom right here with an encore shower. And then a nice queen size bed with your closet on a slide out. Perfect. <clears throat> now we're checking out the Road Warrior. Nice. Hey, do you remember what this back rack is for? I don't. I know, and they told us. I know. Wasn't it like to put um, bike racks and stuff like that, I think is yeah. what it was for. Kayak racks. Like yeah. A bunch of accessories. It's pretty cool. Let's go up the steps that okay, way. Okay, cool. Nice more ride steps back here leading to your patio, which then leads to your garage. Again, you got the uh, patio screen doors there. Of course, a nice half bath, washer dryer prep. Will, this is a real toy hauler. This is, yeah. 163 MSRP. Okay. Show price, 99,995. Wow, so like 63,000 off. Yeah. That's crazy, is this a 22? 23. Wow. They're doing big things. Yeah. Look at that backsplash there. Nice kitchen island, booth seating or whatever they call it. Nice entertainment center here. Really, really good looking units. It really is, yeah. Coming upstairs, you'll have your bathroom here. Very nice big encore shower here. And you can access the bathroom from the hall or the bedroom right here. Again, you have a slide out closet there. Also, cool. On to the next one. All right. This one's a 2022 voltage. Nice. Leftover 1099 model 4145. Okay. Nice outside kitchen right there. And that wind is howling. It really is. We'll start up front this time. Nice big bed up here. Again, closet on the slide. Very nice one piece fiberglass encore shower in the bathroom. Yes. And then your nice living space here. This I love is a how great living space in a toy hall. It over. really is. Yeah, having the two couches. Nice big TV and the whole entertainment center is really, really nice here. Huge kitchen as well. You know, we, we did a toy hauler the other day and it, it comes out really, really nice. Right. Uh, a voltage, I mean. Huge garage here. You have this bathroom that um, where the wall is like that collapsible so you can get a little bit of extra room in here. Yeah. And then of course patio on the back. And right here. All right, we got a couple more toy haulers. Okay. This, 
By the way, everybody who tried to call me this weekend, I apologize. Believe it or not, Will, there's not good cell service. Not at all. Here in the middle of a horse park. All right. <clears throat> all right. All right, up next, we have a 23 Raptor 431. Nice two full baths and a toy hauler fifth wheel for MSRP 168,440, show price of 117,999. That's pretty good, Will. It is. And this is another good looking layout. It is, yep. I love how they were able to get two couches in here. You know, and this looks nice and comfy too. You know, one of my big things why I'm not a huge fan of toy haulers is because the living space, so much of the RV is dedicated to the garage area. Yeah. But these manufacturers know that and they're doing a lot better job making it more residential feeling. I agree. In here. Coming to the back, huge garage. You do have tool storage under right there, which is awesome. Nice patio on the back. And then here is that second full bath right here. Yes, sir. Super cool. And it looks like, oh, we're saving the best for last okay. over there. With that Valor. Yeah. Oh, you can go. Oh. You want me to go over there? No, 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 or upstairs. Let me get upstairs first, yeah. Again, another on Encore's coming in hot today with the toy hauler fifth wheels. Encore shower, king size bed. So this has a different bedroom layout than we've been seeing. This has the king bed on the slide and then a front closet with your washer dryer prep right next to it. Perfect, now let's take a look at that Valor. Well, I've been trying to show this thing for the last hour and it is definitely one of the most popular units. Oh, We're now sure. in the Valor 43V13 and I think it said 117.9 on the outside. I think so, we'll double check. Yeah, so look at this, Will. Beautiful unit, way to wrap up the show. We got right. the backpack on because it is now after show hours. Look at this awesome kitchen. Yeah, great kitchen. I love the island and how they got good countertop space on both sides of the stove and oven. And we're going home and getting this bad boy uploaded. For sure. So they had to get it all closed up. But this one has the double patios right here. Nice garage area. There's one access to the side patio. I love that side patio. It's got a half bath right there. Washer dryer prep, of course. Yes. <laughs> no carpets. The master's a 12 volt bridge and check out the uh, upstairs. Okay. Coming on up, nice king size bed up here. Again, um, this is the east west bed with the front uh, washer and dryer slash closet. And then bathroom right here, nice encore one piece fiberglass shower. Yes, sir. Well, that's it. That's the Ocala Show toy haulers. Again, Make sure you guys stick around for the Lippert ad because their RV owner school just opened up, okay? And also, um, again, sorry we didn't show you travel trailers today. It was very windy and I knew we could handle all the toy haulers. Right. Tomorrow we will have the travel trailers guaranteed. Believe me, guys, it got you covered. If you guys see something that you like, call the number down below, click the link down below, and a member of my team will reach out. Or there's still a couple days left here at the Ocala RV Show. Will, what do you have to say? Yeah, guys, come see us. We're so excited to be here at the Ocala Show. It's been a great show, and it's a good show for all of us to be able to talk with you guys and just hang out a little bit more. Yes. Um, yeah, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know what travel trailers you want us to show tomorrow, if there's anything specific you want to see. Yes. And make sure to like and subscribe. Great. Now let's kick it over to Lippert. See all you guys right. next time. See ya. <laughs> Guys, Lippert just opened up registration for RV Owner School. Lippert's RV Owner School is a program that provides technical training and maintenance tips for RV owners straight from the source. It's hosted at Lippert's Technical Institute in Mishawaka, Indiana, and offers a nationally recognized, in-depth, technical, hands-on training experience. There are several reasons why RV owners should consider signing up for Lippert's RV Owner School. Firstly, the program provides valuable knowledge and skills for maintaining and troubleshooting RV components. This can save RV owners time and money by avoiding costly repairs and identifying potential problems before they become major issues. Additionally, attending the program provides an opportunity to connect with other RV owners from across the country, allowing for networking and sharing of experiences and tips. And attendees also receive some cool Lippert swag. Overall, Lippert's RV Owner School is a great opportunity for RV owners who want to improve their technical knowledge and maintenance skills, connect with other RV owners, and receive some cool swag along the way. 
Guys, click our link down below. Registration's now open from April through August is the dates of the training. We've linked Lippert's owner school down below. We learned so much when we went the first yes. time and we know you guys are gonna learn a lot too. Thanks so much. See ya. Oh, Brady, we missed you. You were busy. Working deals at the show, guys. Yes, sir. Please join us tomorrow and show us some travel trailers, okay? We're all done with all um, toy haulers, but Will. Yeah. We said 117. It was actually 113.995. Yep. Thanks, guys, so much. Brady, making your rookie debut tomorrow. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, guys, make sure you tune in tomorrow. We'll see everybody next time. See ya.